morning, we have the eye-opening result of a Brian Ross investigation into just how secure some airport security checkpoints really are when it comes to your property. Anytime you go through security, you take it on faith. Your stuff will be there on the other side, but that's not what always happens. Brian Ross here with us now to explain. Well, good morning, Amy. New figures out today show 381 TSA officers have been fired for stealing from passengers and their luggage. And members of Congress think that may just be the tip of the iceberg. And for passengers who are victims of TSA theft, many find they are on their own when something goes missing. So we set out to see for ourselves. We went to 10 major airports, all with a history of TSA theft problems. We checked bags with iPads valued at $600 and cash, and purposely left behind iPads at TSA checkpoints. All the luggage made it past TSA safely. We've gotten the $500 and the iPad. And in nine out of 10 cases, at carry-on checkpoints, TSA screening officers did exactly what they are trained to do. Please come back to the podium to claim your item. But it was a different story in Orlando, where our iPad was last seen in the hands of TSA officer Andy Ramirez. We filed this missing property report but we're told nothing had been found and that we were essentially just out of luck. But we had been able to track our iPad the night it disappeared, 30 miles away from the airport to the home of the TSA officer. Brian Ross from ABC News. Two weeks later, we showed up at Ramirez's house. We're looking for a missing iPad. Missing iPad? Yeah. Okay. And the tracking device shows that it's located right here at this address. Okay. Is it here? No, sir. And again and again, Ramirez denied knowing anything about the missing iPad. Did you take it? No, sir. You did not take it? No, sir. But after setting off an audible alarm on the missing iPad and asking him to search his house again, Ramirez produced it. You found it. There it is. Okay, turn the camera off. With his TSA uniform shirt now off, Ramirez claimed that it was his wife who had taken it, not him. I want you to explain how this iPad left at a TSA screening station ended up in your house. My wife's, I'm so embarrassed. Your, your my wife, wife? My wife says she got the iPad and brought it home. You know, that, that can't be true because the last time we saw it, it was in your hands. It wasn't in your wife's hands. We saw it in your hands. Late yesterday, TSA told us that Ramirez is no longer employed by the agency, which says it has a zero-tolerance policy for employees caught stealing from passengers, Amy. Find my iPad app and that alarm. Those were key. Great report, Brian. And if you want to see more, we will have more from Brian on World News Tonight and on Nightline.